Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another video for you today. We're doing a product overview and first impressions. So not a full review because I haven't had a whole lot of experience with this yet, but I just want to go over this product in front of you, show you some features and let you know what I think about it so far. So what we're looking at is the TRD or tactical rope dispenser. It's basically a paracord dispenser that you can either wear on your belt or, um, you know, latch to your backpack and whatnot. It holds about 50 feet of paracord and it has some features like a blade, as you can see right there, that can be used to cut the paracord as you're dispensing it. And uh, yeah, so I just want to give you a few thoughts about it so far, what I think. And uh, if you're considering getting this for someone or maybe during this holiday season, um, you can use this video as just a bit of an intro to kind of decide if you want it or not. So uh, it's made of plastic, as you can see here. This one is a very nice uh, OD green, and uh, it is pretty decent. It's got some decent thickness of the plastic. It's not, you know, cheap. It doesn't feel cheap, even though it's made of plastic, as you know, a lot of times stuff that is made of plastic feels cheap, but this is not. Um, it's quite nice. And on the back here, it's got a belt loop here. As you can see, it's got a little bit of tension to it. You can kind of put it on your belt. I'm sure this could uh, latch onto any sort of webbing as well uh, on a backpack. And also on this side here, it's got a nice lanyard slot and you can use some paracord to probably latch that to something or hang it off your backpack or whatnot. Okay, so it ho holds about 50 feet of paracord. It's got a, what they call a viewing slot here and you can kind of see how much paracord you have left. So I apologize for my lighting. It's not the best, but I can use my flashlight here. So there, if you look inside, you can see there's the paracord inside. It's on a spool inside there. It comes out this little hole here and it's held in place with this um, slot or kind of, yeah, this thing right here. And up here is where the blade is. I kind of showed you earlier. Let's get another look at it. So as you can see, there's the blade. It is sharp, so don't, uh, you know, play with, it. don't stick your, put your finger in there, and slice your finger open. But the way it works is you grab this paracord, you can pull it out as much or as little as you need, and then you put it over the blade, just give it a pull, and there you go. See, it cuts the paracord. So obviously it's not going to be a very clean cut because um, you're just dragging it along that blade, but it does work, okay? So that's really cool little feature. Um, you know, you don't need to have a tool or knife with you to cut the paracord. I guess if uh, you're in some sort of situation where you're, you need to, you know, a length of paracord real quick, um, this would work very well, you know, especially if it's on your belt or somewhere easily accessible. Now it is uh, kind of bulky. I mean, you can see it next to my hand here. I'm, my hands aren't like huge or anything. I've got like medium size hands, but it is pretty bulky and um, you can put the exact measurements down below. But anyways, to, to wear this on your belt, I don't know how practical that would be uh, because, you know, it's got a good amount of heft to it. But hey, who knows? Your mileage may vary and you might find this very useful on your belt, but it could work that way. Um, so, as I said, this is how you pull the paracord out. Um, one little... I'm going to go through some, you know, pros and cons that I've noticed so far. One little thing about um, the system is that, yes, you can pull the paracord out, but there's no way of spooling it back in um, without taking the dispenser apart, which could be an issue because say you pull out a lot and then you don't say you pulled out too much. You can't exactly wind it back in. That would have been a nice feature if say they had a little, maybe, um, you know, spool here and it was like attached and you can just wind it back in. That would be, that would have been kind of cool. So there's that, that's a one minor little issue that I noticed. Now also, as you can see, if I want to take it apart, you have to use a tool, like a screwdriver to take it apart. Um, we know when I first got this, it didn't really come with any instructions. So I was kind of looking at it. I was like, how do you take this apart? And I tried using my fingernails and it, it's pretty difficult. Um, you can kind of do it, I think, but it would be, it is a lot easier if you have actual screwdriver. It kind of hurts unless you have a lot of nail. So I'll show you how to open it now. I've got uh, just my little screwdriver tool on my Victorinox. 
So you, what you do is you take your screwdriver, and just kind of press down on this side, and pop it out. Like that. There's one side. Now let's do this one. Let's make sure that doesn't go back in. There you go. See? So that wasn't too hard, but at the same time, it wasn't very easy. So that's one thing, um, the little flaws that you can't open it without easily without a screwdriver. So you can pull this out, and that is what it looks like inside. So see, it's got the spool here, and this is how the paracord, you know, winds onto the spool. You can take this out. So to reload this. Um, basically you just, you know, tie the paracord to, I guess, the center piece here and you just wind it back on. Um, there's no real way of, like, say, starting it off and then putting it in and then feeding the paracord on and then closing it to wind it back on. That would have been nice if you could do that, but, um, the only real way to do it is to manually wind it. And I guess you would also have to you know, be careful how you wind it. You can't just keep winding it in one spot because you get all bulky up here. You'd have to like spread it out. It's not too hard, but it's just something to be aware of. To show you the inside here. So you can see there's the blade. It's quite sharp, which is good. And that's what holds it there. All right. So let's get this guy back together. It's quite simple, of course. Um, I'm just going to wind, see, I have a lot of paracord out here now. If I want to wind it back in, I just kind of need to do that. And let's snap it back together. Get everything lined up. There you go. Pretty easy to put back together. Oh, one thing I also noticed, you see um, right here, this um, length going this way vertically, it holds the 550 paracord, but it also does have a smaller notch on it. See right here to hold, I guess, a smaller size of paracord, which is very nice because now you can um, hold a different thickness of paracord on there, right? A thinner, slightly thinner, maybe like a 275 or something like that. Um, in terms of going to a thicker type of paracord, though, I don't think that'll be possible if you went above 550. I know most of us use 550 anyway, but say if you want to do something like 650, you probably wouldn't be able to do that because the fit here on the, um, the hole where the paracord comes out is pretty snug. And um, who knows, you could probably modify that with a Dremel if you wanted to, but you know, that's um, it's a whole different thing, right? Okay. So um, that is pretty much it. Oh yeah, also of course made in the USA. It's even got this little slightly measurement here. I guess that's, yeah, two inches kind of like a two inch ruler here, which I guess we wanted to make a little two inch section. So you could do that. I don't know why, but who knows? I can probably think of a reason. And I think that's about it guys. So, um, yeah, this is the tactical rope dispenser overview. First impressions, really cool product. Um, for me personally, um, I'm not sure how useful it would be for me, but then again, I'm not a super outdoorsy person. Um, but as a paracord product, it's really, really cool. And um, quality is very good too. All right. It is manufactured by Atwood Rope Co., I believe. But if I'm wrong, I will correct that. And uh, oh, let's just show you the packaging it comes in. Came in this uh, clamshell package here. I'm just kind of sitting like this, which is cool. But of course, I opened it off camera because I do not want to open a clamshell package on camera. But uh, yeah, this is the packaging made in the USA. Okay. And tells you the features there. And yeah, that is it guys. So this has been my overview and first impressions of the TRD tactical rope dispenser. Uh, yeah, if this interests you, check out my links on where to get it in the description box down below. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this overview. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next tutorial video. Bye.